When Raspberry Pi announced the immediate availability of Camera Module version 3, I was excited and rushed to get one. The reason for the excitement was twofold. First, there was a version with a wide angle lens, and second, it apparently had better low light performance. The latter was by far the most important consideration for a surveillance camera and an NVR that I was building. Now I have an Arducam 64 megapixel Hawk Eye camera, but I am reluctant to use it in a surveillance setting where the Pi is connected to other sensitive equipment. This is due to Arducam's use of closed source code. Who knows what might be in there? In this video, I compare the low light performance of the Arducam camera and the new Raspberry Pi camera module, the wide angle version that is. Where I live, both cameras cost about the same. It doesn't take much effort to notice the superior low light performance of the Arducam camera. I'm short of Raspberry Pis to do a side by side comparison. The comparison is between videos taken on two separate nights and streamed over the internet. Both cameras were placed at the exact same spot, looking at the exact same scene, and were behind a wire mesh insect screen. The arguments to lip camera vid were identical in both cases, except for the use of different tuning files to adjust for exposure time and gain. The frame rate chosen was 1 FPS. The presence of total cloud cover brightens the sky. The analog gain value for the Raspberry Pi camera maxed out at 16, whereas for the Arducam, I could push it all the way up to at least 56. This results in a much brighter image. A brief note here. For the Arducam, I'd recompile lip camera to include OpenCV support. As expected, this broke things and the camera became unusable. To get things working again, I had to create a new camera helper class a replacement JSON configuration file and make other tweaks to the code in lip camera. So in my jerry-rigged version, I was able to push the analog gain to quite high values. Not sure if the stock version provided by Arducam behaves the same. It probably does. Arducam has a good product in the Hawk Eye. I just hope that they work with the folks at Raspberry Pi so that their camera works out of the box without the need to install closed source third-party code. Until then, I will be sticking with the new Raspberry Pi camera module. It is good enough for the intended use and a significant upgrade over the previous version. I will leave you with this video of early dawn captured by the Pi camera and the soothing pitter-patter of rain.